Hello, welcome back in Shoner Cave Crew. In the last part, I uh, read some sports, and then I tried to play this map, and then I um, got really upset, so I didn't save, and then I lost, so I just lost, and it was a giant waste of time. And now it's a week later, and I'm going to try to play this game again, and hope that really dumb things don't happen, because apparently the way you're supposed to play this map is, um, it's kind of camp in the corner, I guess, or where your starting position, and just wait for the enemies to come to you. That's what I guess you're supposed to do, huh? Right, you can't use this number together. So I'm going to put Kyoko and and Kogasa together and hope they, they hope they just don't die. Hope Kyoko doesn't die this time, because that's that's the start of I'm gonna be very upset he's getting last time anyway. If these three and nothing uh, here. I still don't know if there's a skip cutscene button in this game. I don't think there is. I didn't see one. Anyway. And, uh Bunch of enemies appeared out of nowhere. Yep. The fact that Kyoko said something there makes me think she probably has a score with Misty, which makes me think she's probably written after the, the whole rock band thing. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm not terribly enthused to be doing this again, but it's Saturday, so I need to play this game. Alright, so, how do I do this and not get fucked? I don't know, alright, so, me this group of assholes over here. Already in range of Kyoko, wow. Wow, how about that? Alright, so... And Yiko, take care of these guys, right? Yeah, you can... Yeah, just freeze fast. Some berries, should be fine. Alright. Then Yokai Rabbit's over here. Right, I want you two to take care of that. And then after that, just uh, you guys. You're so close, Sonny. Here you go, Stark. Oh, a critical wow. Now, let's put Kyoko in a place where she won't die, like a bush. She's not gonna die in a bush, right? Wow, she can kill something. Why do I feel like this is... I feel like I was being able to kill things as easily last time. But maybe I was. And the only issue was defense and not necessarily offense, I don't remember. Come on, Kyoko, I need you to not miss. Come on, don't miss. There you go. Wow, she got a good level up, isn't that nice? She's level 7. It's not bad. It's not bad. Right, I wanted to put Ron over here with you guys, because Chen comes this way for some reason. And then I wanted to pair you up because you go to sport for some reason. Moko is fodder. Go be fodder. Now, yeah, I was debating whether I should go back and get Tay, but I don't want to, <laughs> so I'm not. And you know, I really, th I was, well, I was thinking, well, I was debating about whether I should do that or not. I started thinking, you know, Tay, she might be, honestly, it's not a character I like very much. Which is weird, because it's normally a character. It's not a character I think of. I don't think of when I think of characters I dislike. It's like when I think about what Tay does. It's like 90% of the time Tay shows up and it's something. It's like, oh boy, it's time to bully racing or scam people, I and mean, it's just like, okay. I, I pressed the trade button on accident. I thought I crashed the game, but I was able to press X. So I guess if you press X before you press Z again. The game doesn't break. Anyway, put put Lyric up front. I think she's the lowest level. I don't remember. Kamachi, you don't kill that thing, and I have to wonder why. Why don't you kill that thing? Um. Yeah, I don't really know what to do here. So hope. 
Who's up front right now? You are. You're the wrong character to be up front. Alright, so just sit here and hope these characters don't kill me because this is a very fun and well-designed map. Yep. Oh, it's Rumi and she's coming right at us. Oh, of course she is. So, yeah, um... I think I said this a little bit last episode, but yeah, I'm just wrong about pair up not being good at this game. Apparently this game is entirely built around pair up because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to I swear to fucking god if you kill Beyond Grim. Um, I haven't saved yet because it hasn't even been a turn, has it? Yeah, because apparently if you like make pair ups before the map starts, you can just straight up bring more units. So there's no reason not to. Yeah, it's like you have that one manga? Like, can you? I just... It's... I just hate this map so much. Alright, Biakran, I'm not restarting for you. I'm just not. Like, what was I supposed to do there? Either I get in range of the fuckers, or I don't, in which case I can't even attack the enemies. This is just not a good map at all. It really isn't. Alright, gonna be out of Chins, gonna be in Chins range with Ron only. Do I aggro here? You? No? You? You? There. Yeah, I just, I just wanna get done with this map and hopefully the next map is better. That's all you can really hope for. Yeah, you have that one mark of like, being above the Earth's moon or whatever, which apparently like, might be slightly canon, or might not be, but I never wanted to read it, because everything I hear about that manga is, oh yeah, it's about, um, Tay being an asshole and racist 99% of the time. It's like, wow, that's, that's great. I love it when the main depiction of a character is just being an asshole to one of my favorite characters. Yep. Isn't Tay like, really, supposed to be, like, really old? So, like, her being a giant shithead. Kind of... I don't know, because you have the whole, like, she's supposed to be the, the white, what's it called again? The white hair of Inaba or something? She's like over a thousand years old, but the, nothing's ever really done with that. Like, if Tay wasn't that, and she was just a random shithead rabbit that was the leader of the rabbits for the same reason that Tori is the leader of the Kappa, it's just because she is, then uh, not a whole lot would really change. Anyway, done. Shit talking. Tay okay, here. Wasn't gonna use her anyway. And now I'm giving myself more reasons why I'm not gonna go back and use her. Yeah, just just kill Romeo. Get her out of my face. It's weird. It looks it looks like in her portrait, Rumi has long hair, but then you look at her sprite and she doesn't. She doesn't in that look look, look at the look at the her portrait in the top left corner compared to the middle one. That's not the same hair length. Well, what's going on there? Sorry if the commentary in this part isn't particularly interesting, but I just want to get done with this so I can move on to okay, the things that will hopefully be better. I hope this game gets better. I hope it's better than this. Uh huh. Right. Can kill anything, Gilgo. Can kill anything at all. You can kill that thing. That's cool. Uh, pretty large, I guess. All of those things, what do they mean? Who knows? Great. Need to stay relatively back here because Cherno's gonna show up again because, you know, having Rumia and Cherno and Shin go at you at the same time? Really fun. Glad that happens. Can't kill them. You can't kill them. And you can't kill them. So what, pray tell, do I do in this situation, game? There are currently one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this many enemies, and I can't really kill any of them. Ain't that cool? Um, what to do? What to do? Kamachi, you're really not doing much. Wish you could double things. You really can't double things, can you? 
Um, you're a problem. But also, you guys are right here, so I can't even deal with the problem without aggroing the other problems. Just, just do that. Damage that thing so I can kill it with something else. What is it, something else? Um, Komachi, I guess. I'm not missing anything by having Aya paired up because she can't attack anyway. For some reason. Actually, did I only check if she could use magic stuff and I never checked if she could use Dunmaku? I can't remember. Well, yep. Main character of the game can do 11 damage to this asshole. It's really good. It's a really good map. It's a really good map. Remember last map how I did it? relatively easily, without really any issues. I go back to that. I'm not saving. Well, I'm not saving. I'm not, yep. Save every turn! I'm saving every turn! Right, I can't remember... Just make, just save a five. Um... I wish Miko had range. I don't want her to be hurt by this guy. It's gonna fucking hurt. So I guess Star can do something here. Thirteen. Fifteen. Crit. Luna crit. It's not a crit. You crit earlier when I didn't need you to, but now when I need you to, all of a sudden can't do it. Well, why is that? Who knows? Eco can... You still, you still can't kill this guy. That's great. Do you do anything, Yukari? Nope. What the fuck, game? So, pray tell, do you want me to do in this situation, huh? Because I'm currently surrounded by enemies, and multiple really powerful guys can just kill Miko or Yukari in one round. And there's really not a whole lot I can do about it, so, like, what do you want from me, game? What the hell do you want from me? Like, it's just, this is a losing situation here. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the game wants me to do. I can't attack you, because that would just make you probably weaker. So I just have to hope whoever you decide to kill is not a important character. Great. Oh wow, you missed. Come on, Merlin, you can do it. Yes, attack Moko. He is expendable. Yep, they're not moving for now, but they will randomly move later. Oh, that enemy all the way over there can reach her. Oh, goodbye. And now these rabbits are moving? Uh-huh. Go attack Komachi. Right. These fairies are a waste of time. Yep, here we go. Am I dead? Am I dead? No, no, I'm not dead yet. I love how these super strong enemies are like really inaccurate too, so you could just like, if you don't get unlucky, you'll probably be fine, but if you get unlucky, fuck you. Alright. Um we doing now? When is Cherno supposed to show up? Because I'm not moving forward until Cherno shows up. You want anything, Kyoko? Nope. Nope. 39. 9. Man, fairies, the fairies are just on fodder duty, aren't they? Did this asshole heal? I think they did. That's cool. Not cool at all, actually. Save, by the way. I can't wait for this to take over an hour. Yep. Kari's a very good character in fighting Yokai. Yep. Yep, Yokai. Can't do shit against Yokai. There you go. There you go. That's the exact damage you need, Kyoko. Igoreko! That's Kyoko. Yep. She is. Right, now what? 
you go. Do you not have your ranged attack anymore? I guess you don't. Um. Level 19. I want to use that because it's almost broken. Hit you with that. They weren't able to attack for some reason. Alright. Okay, now what? What do I do here? Um. Of course, Moko can't kill anything. Right, I need you to take care of this asshole. Like, oh, Merlin's the only one of these three that I ever used because she's the only one I can attack from range. Not that it matters, they all get experience anyway. Wow, it's a good level up for the one that I'm pretty sure is supposed to have bad level ups. That wasn't as good of a level up, but it was fine overall. Come on, Chi, I just need you to deal 15 damage. Why can you not deal 15 damage? I'm really not asking much of you here. I just ask that you're not useless, you know? You're kind of just being useless. Put her on right here. Actually, that might have fucked it up. Because I might need to talk to her first. I don't know. Get saved. Go, go back to the last turn. I really fucked it up. It's like they have two range, too. Just because, why not? Wow, I can't even kill a fairy. I can't even kill the fairies. So I can get him out of the way so I can attack with someone else. Just can't do anything here. Oh. Nine. Yep, we're gonna have to sacrifice Moko so Kamachi can kill you. Goodbye again, Moko! Goodbye. Oh, never mind, you dodged it. Oh, never mind, they get to attack again. Goodbye, Moko. Did she say something different there? I don't know. Alright. There you go, Kamachi. You can do something! Woo! Wow. You know I can level up. This is the only way she's gonna level up besides healing people. Alright, now what? You kill this thing, Yukari? No. No, you can't. Uh. Well, hope it doesn't hit you. And it hit me. 46%. Right. Right, kill you. Oh, attack. You deal with this guy better than I thought you would, Miko. How did it happen again? This, this happened last time? And now it happened again? Do you understand how absurdly unlike? Do you understand how absurdly unlikely what just happened is? Ron, don't fucking kill Chen. Thank you. Like, uh, just to just to show you how ridiculously unlikely what just happened is, I'm gonna the game would stop for a second. It won't. The enemy's gotta take 20 years for their turn to happen. Uh huh. Charisma. Yep. Every fucking thing in this game has charisma, doesn't it? We done? Nope. We done? No, no, because they have beasts, so they just keep moving. Oh yeah, fairies. Forgot. This filler. Filler knows it's fairies. Fairy filler. Jiro's gonna show up this turn, isn't she? I can't tell if Cherno is based shows up based on turn or based on um, something else. I'm just not here yet. All right, so Miko, uh huh. Look at Miko. Miko, she is fun B. Huh. Ninety-nine percent luck growth. So 
what just happened was I got a 1% chance for that to not proc, and all of those other procs, you know those ones that are like less than 50 or a little above 50, all those procs, but not 99%. I don't know what fucking thing just happened there to make that happen, but that is absurd. The fact that it happened twice. Is the game lying to me? I don't think- the fact that that happened twice, happened last time, it happened this time. I didn't proc luck. 99% chance. I don't think- that, that doesn't seem right, the fact that that happened twice. Anyway, talk to this cat. Da -da -da. Yep. Never mind, I need to take a call, so now I get to cut this off. whoop de doo I gotta cut in the middle of it because I got a call! whoop de doo This is just the best episode ever, isn't it? Anyway, this is Chen. I'm not named Chen yet. So is her name Nekomana? She is a Nekomana. The whole thing of, okay, Chen didn't name herself, but... Every single other yokai did, apparently. Alright. Just gotta wait for Chen to attack. So, seriously, what causes Chiron to show up? I'd like to know that. Alright. I wanna lure out this asshole. So I need to kill these guys with someone I can, that can confidently kill that guy. So... It's not Kyoko. So Kyoko, kill this fairy. Yoko, it's not enough damage to kill a fairy. Why can you not deal enough damage to kill a fairy? I guess you kill this fucking rabbit then? Which means, um... You know what? Sure, Moko, go! 4 damage! You did it! 4 damage, Moko! Woo! Goodbye! Okay, that seemed like a normal. Alright, there you go. Now Kyoko can kill a fairy! Whoa! Don't you love how how many use this, like, oops, like, dark large? I'm pretty sure that's a pretty, like, cool big weapon, and I'm having to use it just to make Kyoko kill noble things. Alright. Um. Yeah, put you here. Level 8. Level 8. Level 10. Merlin is just way, behind, way ahead the other two, because you get slightly more EXP when you when the character that kills the Trinity compared to the two of them. Good level up! Lyrica. I do wonder if I'll end up using them. Prism, River, Prism Rivers all the way through, because I was under the impression that I was going to have to bench like a lot of characters, but if the way this, if the way the pair up works in this game, apparently I can use like most of the roster if I can uh, pair them up in the correct way before battle starts. Which I guess is nice, gives me incentive to try to recruit as many characters as I can, I guess. Which I've done so far, except for Tay, but again, I don't care about Tay. Grayson's not even in this game, so like, who is Tay even gonna talk to besides like Moko? I guess speaking of which, Moko doesn't have anyone to pair up with because Tay's not here. I'm just assuming that um, Tay Te Te and Moko have any support and they can pair up. You know what? Um, heal. Because Byakarin's not here, so you're, you and Miko are the only ones that can really heal here. Um, Miko's actually only level 13. Can't kill this fairy. That's... Alright. Yukari will do it. Will not kill it. Unless she gets a crit. Yep. Amazing. I get crits when I don't want crits, and then I don't get crits when I want crits. It's funny how that works, isn't it? Well, at least Miko can get that experience. Anyway, is Cheryl gonna show up now? Also, save. Keep forgetting to save. Hello, Biakia! Hello. My name is Biakia, and I am here to... ...exist, I guess. I guess I'm foreshadowing, because you can't actually recruit me, but I wasn't here in the last chapter, so I wasted all that time trying to go to you. Hello, Chiano! You're... ...annoying in this game, you know that? You really are. Chen? Why, why are you gonna do that, Chen? I can't do that. 
Alright. Yeah, Suika, counterattack you. Nope, because you have two range for no reason. Anyway, Miyakia, kill all these people. Dance. Really tank you. I hope if you somehow die here, that doesn't like prevent me from recruiting you in the future. That'd be really stupid. You know, something really stupid happening in this game. It's not something unexpected. All right, there you go. Just gonna kill every fairy and leave, right, Biakia? Is that what you're gonna do? I don't think she was supposed to do that. I don't think she was supposed to kill every fairy on the first turn. I don't think that happened last time, either. Oh, Lyrica. I don't Like, I'd like to use the Prison Rivers, but... I don't know if they have any supports besides just, like, the three of them. So, if, like, I read, read all those supports... I don't have any more, there's a decent chance they get benched for some other trinity. Yes, there's a lot of trinity trinities in this game for whatever. Alright. Let's deal with you fucking idiot. This is fucking garbage. Cause you know why? I can't even I can't even attack Chen. I have to put you in the back. Chen can't reach you, can she? No. So run over here. Yep. I gotta play a really stupid game just to kill you with Ron and not Suica. This is really dumb. Alright, so. I guess the plan here. You a green unit? I don't know. Yeah, I guess the plan is to take care of you. You know, it's no wonder Lunasa is the lowest level when she can't kill anything. You can't either, actually. Oh, never mind, that's 21. Yep, and Merlin is going to continue to be the highest level because she's the only one that can kill anything. Not with that one, it's gotta be the close range one. Goodbye! <laughs> I mean, Merlin's my favorite anyway, so if she wants to be the strongest one, that's fine with me. You know, it's not too surprising that my favorite of the Prison Rivers is the one that plays wind instruments. Never tell us, never talk about how I tried to learn. I have a keyboard. I tried to learn how to play it, and I just, I kind of gave up after a while, because um, playing with one hand is pretty simple. But I just could not uh, do two-handed. I just can't. It was just too big of a hurdle, and I just wasn't able to... It's a really big hurdle that I just wasn't able to get past, so I just kind of quit. I mean, this is probably more of an excuse than anything, because I don't know how true this is, because there are plenty of people that can play both, like, the saxophone and other similar instruments and the piano. But I feel like, with what I'm used to, now you play a saxophone, how, you know, like, um... Every note is a combination of both hands. Either, you know, the right hand not doing anything, or the right hand pressing a button and tandem with the other hand. I feel like, just because I was so used to that, I was trying to play piano, I'm trying to have my hand do two separate things. Which is really difficult, and I just, I just couldn't do it. I'm not used to that. And I don't know how much of that is because I'm used to saxophone, or it's just... Me not being able to do it in general. Anyway, okay. You kill this stupid. Oh, did I say kill? I mean. It's just. Why? Just, just. I have so many questions about this game, about this particular map, and why it was made like this. Yeah, of course. Why? Why would. I, I just needed you to hit, and you couldn't be asked. Yes, I'm gonna be. These two are just gonna stay here forever until eventually these two can kill this guy. And but I hope they don't kill Chen because they kill Chen, then I have to do it over again. Yep, this is the worst map in the game so far. And if it gets worse than this, oh, 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 oh. Oh. I 
Mikasa, can you? Yep, just let, just let you go do it. Absorption immune. Yep. Many things happen there. I can't go on. I better put, like, needs editing or something at the beginning of this recording. Because I'm not going to edit it right now, and I really can't forget to edit that call out. But level up, Yoki. Not like you needed it. Come on, you can't even reach anything over there. Yeah, you guys just fall back. I might need you later. Yukari, can you do anything? Kill this green fairy, I guess. There she is, our main character, Yukari Yakubo, killing green fairies. Cause what just happened? Why is, why is it not dead? Why is the thing in front of me not dead? Which of you is lower level? You're level 9. Level 8, of course. Alright, Kyoko! Kyoko! Come on! There you go. 16 damage! 100%! Woo! There you go. Isn't this a much better timeline? Kyoko is doing things! You know who's not doing things? Biakran, because she's dead. Because I wasn't getting through that first turn. That wasn't a good level of cards. I wasn't getting through that particular turn without someone dying, and that someone ended up being Kogasa. Also, speaking of someone dying, I think Moko's gone. I think she died too many times. I think she's coming back until the next chapter of the three. Um. I can't remember, um, if you heal someone, does that go into your slot so you can't attack back, or do you automatically change to an attack weapon when you attack back? is just gonna stay there. Okay, good! She's smart enough to attack Ron! Yay! Come on, Ron. Stop missing. Even 85% hit. Which I guess makes it really lucky that you missed that earlier time. But again, Chen might have been a push. Might end up might have been in a push at that time, I don't know. Freeze shot. No counter. So when does Mistia move over here, huh? Because what happened last time was that Riggle didn't move over here, but then Mistia did, for some reason. Alright. Thunder Magic. Thunder. Fire! Yep, I've already read all the dialogue here up to that. Goodbye, Byakuya! See you in Tozik! It's not really, she comes back later. Imagine if she didn't. Imagine if fucking Byakuya showed up and then she wasn't seen until like this game's sequel, which exists. This game is a sequel, by the way. Apparently it's on Switch. I don't think it's translated, so I'd never be able to play it. Sunny, I just need you to. One more damage. You know what we could probably do? One more damage? There you go. Killer's Star. In fact, I could have checked Sunny's weapons, but she has multiple weapons now. She might have been able to get that kill. Anyway. Deal with Shen. Shen, Shen, Shen. She does. Do the spin, doesn't she? You know who do doesn't do the spin? Ron. Ron's not doing the spin, but Chen is doing the spin. So that means in this continuity, Chen was the one who taught Ron the spin. Yeah, I'm on board. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh -huh. yep. I this. Yep. Goodbye, Chen. She's gonna run away. There's nothing can ever be simple in this game. The best recruitments are the ones that are 15 that are like have like five different stages and take 20 chapters. Yep. 
I say that I think, I, I hope she gets through the next chapter. I think I've done everything I need to do, because according to the guide, it's, it's just like, um, talk to her with Ron, and then defeat her with Ron, and then she won't join you now, but I hope that means she automatically joins me later. Hopefully, because I don't want to do that anymore. It's an exact kill. That's a you're level 10. You're still higher level than Kyoko. Guilty Perry, Kyoko. Yeah, I can't use that. Blazing Magic, is that like decently good? Can I give that to a magic character and have them actually be able to kill things? Maybe? Yeah, Komachi, you had a really good starting show with the map with all the ghosts, because you were just able to kill everything, but now it's, now your pitiful speed is really, really not, really not looking too good on you, if I'm being honest. Merlin, back with these guys. Can you kill either of these guys, Yukron? No. No. Man, you can move all over the world, can't you? It's like... It's the best way to do this here. I guess Ikari can soften this person up. Or maybe get a crit? I don't know. Point is, I need Komachi to kill the fairy now. I didn't realize you were that close to dying. I, that's, that's a problem. Just a bit. It's okay. Aya is so short. Look at her. She like goes up to Komachi's like... With her hat goes up like her neck. She looks a lot taller in her portrait art, doesn't she? Go. You're not gonna kill it anyway. Kill this- give this kill to you, though, but I can at least let you get a little XP. I say a little bit. I don't think you gained a single XP point from that. Do you have any infinite? Why does Ron have, like, the only infinite? Well, I say that. Does Kyoko have an infinite, too? I don't remember. I like how it's been 40 minutes and I've read none of the dialogue. This has all just been the map. Oh yeah, and the ghosts show up, so yeah, that's just on a timer, because I didn't even go over there. The ghost just showed up on a timer, and I guess at some point Misty is going to move. On a timer. A move timer, not an actual block, obviously, because it's a turn-based thing. Wow, Swig got killed something! Wow! actually able to attack something, because she was, you know, she kept being attacked by things with two range. Alright, I guess I can start moving people over here. Heal. Heal, I, uh... You're not the healer. You're the healer, there you go. Yeah, these recovery charms. Um, they aren't great. So when do I get my equivalent to Mend? So normally in Fire Emblem you have Heal, which is like the basic one, which isn't that good, but it's something. And then you have Mend, which is normally fully heals a unit. When do I get Mend? It'd be nice to have Mend. Apparently I already have Physic, but I think the Yacron is the one who has it, and the Yacron is currently dead. I love how I have to use the Yacron. It's just great. Yep, you want to use the other characters in the Mjorn Temple? You gotta use the worst unit in the game. Like, it's like, she unironically does less fucking damage than Moko. And Moko can just die like five times. But nope, I gotta use her if I want... Do I, do I, I don't even want the other three, if I'm being that honest. Um, but for the sake of showing stuff, like I'd, I'd like to be able to use as many units as I can, so I'm not just gonna give up. On using Marasa featuring a new. And there we go! Now Misty is moving. For some reason. Oh, you were in the range of Kyoko! Wow! I didn't know that. I didn't know that. 
this question in the recording that I uploaded earlier today, which is the first part of the map where I got Aya. Like, are we killing these yokai? Because we're obviously not killing the ones that are named. And, like, we're using Don Maku. The whole point of Don Maku is that it's not lethal. So I don't think we're killing anyone, but it's kind of, like, fake. I don't know. Let's have... So Nas is still level 8. Yes, she is. She can't do anything. Right. Heal anybody, move. You go. Great. Yep, and just wait for the ghost to come to me. Wait for Mistia. Yep, Mistia's over there. Yep, Riggle's group. The only one that doesn't do anything. Maybe that wasn't the best idea, because now I can't really reach some of those guys. Hopefully it'll be fine! Hopefully, maybe. Okay, Luna's the destroyer of ghosts, apparently. You just kill these ghosts. You can't kill much of anything else, but you kill these ghosts now. Alright. Can you do something, Yuko? Nope, but I bet Yoki can. On forty percent crit. There you go. Die, fucker. Okay. Um, man, Kyoko can just go all over the world, can't she? I guess that's her. Well, she. That's, that's her one advantage. Yep. You can just um die. Goodbye. Goodbye, missed you. Ah! This is too much! I didn't kill you last time, did I? Let's do dialogue, it should be. Anti-social Oni. Got resistance. Ain't that nice. Evolution Jewel. How oh, nice. Alright. Can you do something here, Ron? That's not quite a kill, Ron. You, how dangerous are you? Very. Very. Um. Bonasa, why do you have no range? You have no range. Kinda hoping you'd be able to kill one of those yokai. But nope, you can't get over there. Somehow, for some reason. There's some weird terrain going on here that my beast units don't have to deal with. <laughs> it's just consistent every time, and also it gets the worst level ups of the three. Okay, um, alright, what can I do here? Alright. Alright, you are a big issue, aren't you? You probably deal fuck fast loads of damage, you do 10 damage to Ron, how much do you do? Six. So yeah, you're clearly the problem child here, so I need to deal with you as quickly as possible before you kill someone. You know what I also need to do? I need to save fucking game. 
don't know why I do it. I just don't do it at the beginning of the turn. I just don't think to do it. So I'm immediately like, all right, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do here? I don't think to save immediately. Oh, immediately missed Ron. Yoko! Actually, level 10. Level 10. Right. That's one. Being able to switch whenever is very useful. Because now I'll just fuck myself out of being able to kill you. Never mind, kill, can't kill you anyway. Can you? No? No, you can't. Alright, 7% crit! Let's go! Or Kyoko, do adapt or something. Actually, no. Can't do adept in the back. So we have this super strong yokai is just here, and I have to hope that they don't kill Nico or Yukari, or then I lose. Love that I just lose. Nine. Eight. Eight. Right. Well, the only character here. Come on, Sunny. Da -da. Da -da -da. So it level up. In fact, the fact because you don't use strength for anything, that is basically a perfect level up. I mean, that was slightly worse, but still pretty good. All right. Someone somewhere is about to die. I have to just um, hope it's not these two. Shouldn't be. Am I? Oh yeah, just a yep. Yeah, oh, this that map really needed with more enemies. Just have a bunch of rabbits showing up somewhere. Sheltered child of Miari. Very sheltered because I just put her behind Kamachi all the time. Nope, Komachi is going to die, isn't she? How unfortunate. Goodbye, Komachi! Oh, she's still in it! Wow! She's not giving up yet! Nope, not my Komachi, she never gives up. Or the fact that she's one of the laziest characters in the series, ignore that. Alright. Okay, so everyone's about the eight, level 8, 9 range here, so... Just let Lunasa kill one of these guys. Sure, that one. Goodbye. Kill you with, um... Kill us level 10. And he can kill you, he's the power of... I should probably stop using this so much, because it's gonna break, but... Oh well. Can I use this? Doesn't seem so. Alright, so those rabbits are gonna come at me, probably. Save, by the way. I don't need to move them that far forward. Don't want people to be out of the group now, do I? Nope. Heal anyone, Miko? Heal Sunny Milk. Probably should have healed Yoki since, you know, I've built up support points. You two have a support for some reason. Miko has more supports with the beginning units in the game than Yukari does. Alright, Aya. Can you heal someone? Yep. One HP. And now Riddle moves. For some reason. I don't think it had anything to do with me moving in this direction. I just think it's because it was on the turn count. And now look! Now I got all these enemies right in front of me. Same time. So all I can really do is run away. Yep, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put the really fucking strong units up front. 
and hope they can just deal with everything. Sound like a plan? So that's the plan we're going with. Okay, what happens now? Hello, Riggle. Oh, you kill Komachi immediately. That was it. That's what happened. Goodbye, Komachi. Oops, any more of this and I won't be able to work? Boss wouldn't be happy about that. Man, if I had a two-range weapon, you'd fucking regret so many of your life decisions right now. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye, Barry. Yeah, not, none of those enemies attacked like I wanted them to, so now I just have like 20 enemies in front of me. This map is fucking garbage. It really is. Just don't make maps like this. Where it's like, yep, um, a group of enemies spawns and they come at you, and then this other group of enemies starts running you at the same time, so you just have 20 units at you at the same time. You couldn't really have killed them preemptively because you need to wait for those other guys. It's just, this is not a good map. It just really isn't. 22... 16... Why is Merlin the only one that can kill anything? He's gonna continue to be the highest level because he's the only one of you three that can kill anything. Evolution Jewel. That's probably a stat up. Um, yeah, I just need Miko and Viak and Vikari just hide in the corner and not get killed because when they get killed, then I lose. I could not imagine how much pain in the ass this game is to play on classic mode. Hell, this is the easier difficulty, by the way. This is easy mode, quote unquote. Yeah, if there's one thing, this thing should take it from Awakening. It's not having a difficulty called easy mode because it's a fucking lie. It's called normal mode and Awakening for a reason, and it's easier than this. I was hoping for a quick crit so we got. You didn't give me one. Just put Yoki in front of it. In front of things and hope he kills everything. And if he doesn't, well, him dying doesn't really matter. Why do you have such a high crit chance, huh? Oh. Oh. No, no. Oh, real advantage, whoa! That actually hit. Uh, okay, nevermind, has a 62% chance to hit. I don't know why it why I thought it was higher than lower than that. Blue homing broke, oh no! Whatever shall I do? On here again. I'm gonna use all the Stark Large at this point. Anyway, Kyoko's probably gonna die here, but you know, she got her experience for this level. I'm locked all around and I'm wounded. This is impossible. That was a okay level up. Light charm. Alright, Kyoko can move! She's not, she's not gonna die. Kyoko's not gonna die. Woo! And these three just stay back here. Kyoko, Kyoko I guess. There you go. Goodbye. Come on. But I don't want Biakra and I don't want Yukari to move because I don't want her to die. Oh. oh! Wow! Destroyed that guy. Haha, <laughs> 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 your crits mean nothing to Yoki. I think you could kill Yoki with a singular crit. The enemies just aren't even doing anything because they're just in a little hole over there. 
giving Yoki all the kills and losing all the XP in the process, so what do you want me to do? Against such terrible odds that this map is throwing at me. And I forgot you guys heal. Okay, that's one thing that's really fucking annoying about this game. Just random enemies have super effective hits, and I'm just, what, do you expect me to just check every single enemy at all times to make sure I don't make, an enemy, make a character just get fucked? Like, I'll, I'll pretty, this might have been an awakening, but it was definitely in Fates, where if a character had, if an enemy had a super effective weapon, the game would, like, give you a hint, would, like, put, like, a red exclamation point or something. But this game is just like, oh, yeah. You didn't check what effective weapons the enemy had? Well, it sucks for you. Now your ghost, or your fairy, or human, whatever, is dead. Which I'm sure would suck if you play Classic Sunny. Sunny. Which I'm sure would suck if you play Classic Mode, which well, I'm not. You know, on top of the other reasons, like, you know, the clothes ripping that would I wouldn't be able to show that, that thing that exists in this game for some reason. I mean, I'm not gonna be the guy who's like, oh yeah, something like that shouldn't be in this game, but I will be the guy who says something like that should be a, a toggle option. Which I assume it isn't. Maybe it is. Alright, Miko. One day, kill all these guys. I like how that one rabbit just, like, ran away, so I can't, like, finish this turn. Yeah, you stupid bar. Say, by the way. Wow, Yukari killing something in this map. It's not amazing. Yukari Yakumo killing something. Okay. Actually, can I kill you from all the way over here? No, because you can only do 10 damage. Oh no. Whittle away at her, Kogasa. You can do it. Or you can miss. You definitely just miss. It's definitely something you can. You can even do it twice, even. Wow. 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 Why are these. Why are these stray yokai just so fucking strong? I don't understand. It's just a random rabbit. Why is it so strong? Oh, it's because it's green! It's because she's wearing a green shirt! That means she's a strong rabbit, right? She's strong because she's wearing a green shirt. Yep. You know, I've just been under the assumption that all of the enemy characters are female because Toho, but... You know, it might not be the case, I don't know. Um, you go... actually... Menu, level 9. You are. Uh, I love pressing the wrong button. And now I just can't kill anything with fairies because I pressed the wrong button. That's cool. Wait. Okay, they're all level 10 now, so now it doesn't even matter. Kill that thing. Wow, that was a really good level up. That thing. Wow, you we gotta level up. And it wasn't great. <laughs> okay, I think this fairy can only heal, so if I take care of this thing, it'll be fine. Chico can do. Use blue fast, I guess. Actually, does this do enough damage? Why are you effective? Why do you have effective weapons? That didn't actually kill you. Whoops. Well, that wasn't part of the plan. Oh, I have. Right. 
I would appreciate it if you didn't kill Yuko, which I don't think you were going to be able to do if you hit me anyway. Man, now you're just going to go off to Kukasa, huh? What did Kukasa do to you? She didn't even attack you. And now you're attacking her? What's with that? Now you're dead. An okay level up. That was a very good level up. Wow. Is this is this a good timeline? Kyoko, not only is she leveling up, she's getting good level ups, which means she will be a useful character. Alright, who do I kill these last two guys with? Would you love how Aya over here is level 7 and she's just not going anywhere? Because for some reason, she can't attack anything. As much shit as I give Biakra, at least she technically can attack things. I just can't. I need me to go to get a kill here. Oh, Biakra's not gonna get a kill. Yukari. That's your name. You're not Biakra, you're Yukari. Alright. You, you still you still can't kill this thing. Okay, there you go. Twelve. And you get a credit anyway. I love my over hour long episodes, but I am not cutting this. I want this chapter to be done so the next episode can be moving on to better things. Alright, you three. Look, the guy didn't say anything about having to do anything for upload for unlocking the next bonus chapter. The next chapter's a bonus chapter, isn't it? Chapter 8. Chapter 8X. Swear to God, if I don't unlock Chapter 8X because there was some arbitrary requirement that the game didn't bother to fucking tell me, I might I might just be I might just be, I might just be done. Because that means I can't get missed yet. And the other two, I guess, but uh, I'm just saying, if the fucking 8x doesn't appear, I'm gonna fucking lose it. These girls are strong! What's their deal? Is everyone okay? Eh, I was expecting no less. Die, the usual, let's do it. Oh, you're not done. You're really not done. There's still more to this fucking map. Just, what's the point? This is just such a waste of time. Yes, I get it, they can Trinity. Oh, did you know they can Trinity? Okie dokie, come on, Rickle. What, we're still going? Well, duh, we can't just let them take our house. Real fight starts here. Looks like there's gonna be a good meal tonight. I'm Rumi, all I do is talk about eating people. We won't lose the likes of you. It's mid-turn, too. They really just throw that shit at you mid-turn. So if, like, Yukari and Miko were right here and they already moved, I'd just be fucked. Good map. Really good map design. Really fucking good map design. Alright, well. Attack and see what happens, I guess. can move more, so changing her. Alright, who are you attacking? Oh, and only the fairies, I guess. 3v3, what'll happen? Who knows? Star will beat the shit out of Rumia, that'll, that, that's what'll happen. It's the map that never ends. It goes on and on, my friend. Never fucking ends. Alright. Heal you. All I can do is heal. She have purple or black hair? Her sprite looks like black- her um, portrait looks like black hair, but her sprite looks like purple. And she's supposed to be... I mean, Akyu has purple hair, doesn't she? Does she have pink hair? I honestly can't remember. I think she has pink hair, actually. Um, just, do I have to kill all of you, or do I only have to kill, like, the leader? Because I only had to kill the leader with the Prism Rivers. When I was using the Prism Rivers. When I was fighting the Prism Rivers, the, the chapter, you know, fought the Prism Rivers, I only had to kill the first one.
How come the enemy can just, like, move out of the vanguard when they already attack me? I can't do that. Why do they get to do that? There's no... Okay, you've attacked with the, the character. Do you want to change the vanguard? No, that's not an option I can do. Why do you get to do it? The bullshit. Yeah, just get this bug out of my face. I swear to God, if there was some arbitrary- Oh, you're gonna have to talk to Riggle with, with Yukari, or you just miss it, because fuck you. The not go all around, and I'm wounded, this is impossible. This one's deck. You know, you figure if they're gonna have the, the characters fight you again, over and over again, they'd at least give them a line, so you're not just reading the same lines over and over again. By the way, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to kill all of them. Of course, I have to kill all of them. Do you have a... do you have a support? Or do you have a conversation? No. Is that even a thing in this game? It's a thing in Fire Emblem where if you talk, if you like fight certain characters, certain characters will have like special dialogue. I don't think that's happened in this game yet. Anyway, Yoko killed Mistia. It's thematically appropriate. Alright. Stars... They're all level 10, so it doesn't actually matter. Just, who has the most HP? Sunny. Bye, Rumia. Sunny Milk is killing Rumia. The light is defeating the dark. It's also thematically appropriate. It's an okay level up, Sunny. Wow, you go, you can't kill. It's a bit unfortunate, considering you're level 16 and these two are level 17, and I was hoping to get to kill with, you know. Ari's level 16 because she can't really do anything, because I don't want to put her in harm's way, because if she dies, I lose. There you go, Yukari. In fact, now that I think about it, don't, do, I don't think Miko or Yukari have a support either. That's fucking weird. I might be wrong about that, because that'd be really weird if the main characters don't have a support with each other. That'd just be an odd game design decision. Alright. Goodbye, Dyer's A. I can't go on. I've said this like ten times, because you keep having to fight me over and over again. Can you kill Jirbo? No, you can't. It's just... Alright, we're on. Why are you? No, not even close. <laughs> I don't know why I thought Ron would be able to kill you. Ron kills everything! She is the destroyer of the worlds! Yes. Alright. Hour and ten minutes and I finally completed the map! Knock on wood. Again, I didn't read any. Why is the thing broke? Of course the fucking thing broke. Go fuck yourself, Jerno! You're not giving the last second kill. What the heck? Why are you so strong? Ooh, what a lively little birdie you are, and you're cute to boot. In fact, you're so cute I might just eat you up. Uh -huh, I have to do this joke, yep. What? No! Oh my, it was just a metaphor, you know, I'm not actually going to eat you. But when you run away like that, it sure makes me want to chase you. I like super don't care, even if it is a metaphor. Hush, little birdie, don't say a word. Oh, that's even scarier. My lady, what in the world are you doing? Ah, I see Yuko has found a new plaything. So does that mean they have a support? Oh man, we really lost. Why? Why can't I beat you guys? Well, you beat us, so you're the bosses. Want us to leave? Now, now, hold on, Mona. I wish to speak with you. With us? Yes, there are matters I like to discuss, if you're willing, that is. Um. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Is evicting us not enough? Oh, nothing so horrible, though I'd still like you to give up on this place. What? What's your deal? No one's cared about this place before, or what's it matter if we live here now? Yeah, yeah. No one's here, no one comes here, so we thought it'd be fine. As of re recently, we require this spot. But that's not fair. I realize that. But whether it's fair or not, I still need to still need you to bequeath this place. That's a word. 
to this human, you see. It's a word that's not used very often. Do a human? What? What even for? To protect you all from humanity. Huh? To protect us from humanity? What are you talking about? Well now, how will you handle this? I was asked by the people in the village, please protect us from yokai. So I came here. I'm going to make this place the base of my actions. The heck? So you're taking us out after all? What's with that protecting us crap? Shirno, give them a chance to talk. Thank you, Miss Insect Yokai. But you know, I don't just want to protect humankind. If Yokai keep recklessly attacking humans, the conflict between the two will just keep getting worse. I want to stop that. Let's. You girls don't attack humans for no reason, right? You don't go out of your way to bother the village, right? Well, you know, we humans get lost, though. Of course you do. Um, Rumia, that's not a great time to bring that up. I'd argue it's never a great time to bring it up, but you know, she just does what Rumia does, right? I want to stop both sides from entering each other's human territory and prevent neither's conflicts from breaking out. That's what I meant. I want to protect yokai from, like you, from humans and humans from yokai, both at the same time. I'm a fairy. Whatever. It seems uh, complicated. Yeah, I don't really get it. So basically, you don't want us stepping on each other's toes so we don't get into big fights, right? So you're protecting humans and yokai from each other. Yep, I think so. At least fine. We'll let you have this place, huh? What's the deal, Regoli? We've been living here forever. Yeah, but you know, I've been thinking that humans would probably come to take this place back. I don't know why you've been thinking that. Humanity's, humanity's been developing faster and faster lately. Probably not just here. The forest, the mountain, other places, too. Humans will probably want to take it all back for themselves, I think. Uh, I think so, too. I've been seeing a lot more humans in the forest lately. Wait, for real? Yeah, did you not notice? You're no... Ah, no humans reflected in the eyes of the strongest! Uh, anyway. At this rate, I don't think humankind will leave anywhere left for us. But these people are trying to stop that. Losing this place sucks, but if it means protecting other spots, I don't think we've got a choice. Hmm. Hey, Miss Human, please don't let them take everywhere away from us. I feel bad making requests to humans, but please, I feel the same as Riggle. Oh no, you don't need to bow your heads or anything. If you're going that far, I can't exactly refuse. And there you have it. Fear not, we will help you when the time comes. Thank you, Kari. By the way, I'm dead. <laughs> Does this shrine happen to have a name? Ah, uh, true, we forgot the most important part. Does IMA remember what it's called? Unfortunately, that detail has been lost to time. For such an old, dilapidated shrine, I suppose that's to be expected. Oh my, that is unfortunate. Indeed, it might be a bit hard for people to rely on a nameless shrine. We should probably give it a name ourselves. Naturally, I've already come up with one. I've talked it over with Aya, and we came up with something we liked. What's the name? Hackeray. Thus, the Hackeray Shrine. Connecting all souls together in a beautiful harmony is the idea we went with. Is that what Hackeray means? I don't fucking know. Connecting all souls, humans and yokai, fairies and spirits, to serve them all, the Hackeray Shrine. A fine name, don't you think? I think it's a wonderful name! I suppose that makes you the Hackeray Shrine Maiden, then. Hackeray Shrine Maiden? And so it is done. Now come, Hackeray Shrine Maiden, from henceforth you shall bear a truly heavy burden. You think you can handle it? Yeah! Whatever I can do, I'll find a way to do it. Oh my god, it's finally over! Oh my god, okay. 8x. I'm not gonna throw a temper tantrum now. But I am gonna stop the recording. So, see you in the next part. Bye.